Everybody there is still alive. 24 volunteers, you got that upper spine damage. Dare her, you've got some brain damage, so I'm not sure if that's recent or not. So the year is 146. It's 19th Moonstone, early winter. And we have captured the leader of the zombie empire here. Gila Colotus, the ruler, the zombie sword master of that empire. They export terror. They offer vengeance. And that's what we offer to them. Yeah, right now we've got your king in a cage. And we'll find out what we're going to do with him whenever we come back. Hey, wait, there's a zombie there. What happened? How, where'd he come from? Slibbler, he had snuck by us. I was wrong. He wasn't dead. So 24 volunteers, you're there. Durher, you're there. I don't know where the other guy went. Excoot, he ran away. Are they still wrestling with that zombie? Okay, now the zombie's dead, right? Yep, there's his corpse. So let's claim all these. Find out what we're going to do. I don't know if I'm going to claim those cages out there yet with the zombies in them. I'm going to have to think about that. Find out where I want to put them first. Rest in peace, kitties. You guarded the front entrance well and bought us the time we needed to get 24 volunteers and his squad up there. Not too much going on in the fort right now. It's 20th Moonstone, 146. Hasn't been any dis justice dispensed yet. Looks like there's about to be. Make nickel silver items. Flame of Dark is getting very unhappy. I have the prison system built up here directly around the well. I think I'm going to put one thing of food right by them too. I'm really going to do my best to make sure that our people... Our people don't die this time. In fact, let's even give them a bed. Got plenty of beds. That should make them all happy. I have faith that our guards have been reformed. We've had um, them, we've had them go into seminars, anger seminars, trying to work on their anger management issues, so that there's no more no more uh, issues that arise when it's time for justice to be dispensed. Still waiting on all these to be cleaned up. Still haven't decided what I'm going to do with our uh, our zombie friends here. They can stay in the cage for now. I don't think they'll die. Part of me really wants to hold on to them until maybe our vault seer, our king, arrives. At which point we'll train the king up a little bit and a whole bunch of combat skills. And then let them duel it out in some type of arena. This is all just, you know, a big what if. I'm hoping it happens. We've got 135 population. And I'm thinking about going into the Annette file and bumping that up. I actually might already have. What is it, early winter? We'll find out. Migrants will be arriving in another season or two, if I have. But there's no shortage of babies being popped out. So that'll keep our population afloat for a bit. Still waiting on our miners to start work on that. Maybe what we'll do is, like, put ramps that lead all the way down, mine this down for several floors, so this is like one big stadium, and then have the bottom of it be surrounded by water so nothing can get out, and then in there have a grass field with trees maybe. We'll flood it first. Trees can grow up in there, and we'll have random cage fights, random monster fights, have the blue team down here on this end and the red team down here on this end I think I like that idea these ideas are starting to come together we might turn this whole big block into a stadium then I'll start figuring that out It'll, of course it'll have to have water and of course we're gonna have to find a way to work this magma into it what happened there The magma's coming up and boiling out of the pipe. I was gonna have them start mining that out, but now the magma's starting to come up. Well, we'll see. Maybe the magma will start to fill this up even. Now that we've given it room, maybe the pressure will start to build. That'd be neat. It'll build up and then blow up right through my floor here. I know that won't happen, but... 
A man can dream, can't he? We got plenty of trees out there in the tunnel. I'm just gonna let them grow for now. They can be a safety net in the future if we ever go through all this. Well, I've decided to bring the zombies inside. I tested it out with one cage, and they moved it back to the stockpile without a hitch. So we'll have to move the rest of the zombie cages back to the stockpile. And I'm also going to have them secure the stockpile with more cages. So if something does go wrong and they try to get out or something lets them out or some psycho goes and lets out a few cages, they will have to get through a few traps which will give me time to get the military mobilized and over here. Also doing it here in this doorway. And it's just to buy time. I don't want to kill them just yet. Just keep them in a cage. Hopefully they I don't have to resort to building weapon traps for them. We'll see how well they behave once all these cages get brought together. Taco Lad, you've also given birth to another baby girl. Bringing our population up to 136. I kind of figured this is what would happen. So now we need to pull the lever. The flooding has occurred. So I wanted to shut this off. We can let the water move out and people can move. We, people can, can clean that up. But I just want to get those tunnels filled up with water for the well to work. So let's go watch them scuttle around down there. Ah, oh, dang kittens. And I also want to check the military base. I didn't get a chance to check that. Kind of flipping through the screens here, it put me in a panic. Seeing all that water in the basement. Yep. Clean it up, people. And quit being unhappy, whoever you are. Sub Zero, you cry, baby. It's just a little bit of water. You'll be fine. So that's the downstairs situation. It'll drain out for a while, and then it'll stabilize. And the barracks. The barracks is fine. That'll probably stabilize at around six or seven it might flood just a little bit but it doesn't have as much water uh, pressing down on it from the top of the stairwell here but the doors are closed there and that that will stabilize down here I don't know how this will do how this will do right here I guess I should have put some hatches here so I could seal this off separately from this and continue to fill this up is this well active? No, nope, but still dry. So, if this tunnel cleans out a little bit more, we can send our engineers down through the tunnel here. And then they can go and add hatches to that... to the uh, basement pipe system, I guess. And Roland, you've been taken by a mood. You've been possessed. You've been with us for a, for a while, too. It's still 146, 26 Opal. This year just keeps having little bitty, little bitty mini events every few months. Every few days, I mean. Where are you going, Roland? Go claim that bower shop. Make us a gun. He heads to the very last, last craftsman shop. I thought he was going to bypass them all. But the lure was too strong. The last one finally broke his will and drew him in. He was almost to the Mason's workshops. So we'll see what Roland creates here. He's another fake character. Speaking of that, and one of our real characters, Duke, made this, the autumnal mess, a hematite scepter. I don't think I documented this yet. 70,800 dwarf bucks. I actually think I showed the beginning of this, and then completely forgot to show when he finished it. This is a hematite scepter. All craftsmanship is of the highest quality. It is encrusted with red spinal and encircled with bands of cat bone. This object is adorned with hanging rings of hematite, obsidian, iron, turtle shell, green glass, and sunstone, and menaces with spikes of obsidian and cat bone. So we might trade that away next time a caravan comes and just take all the crap that we want. And we'll, we'll let them get away with a whole lot of money, take it back to the vault, and be amazed at the profit they made send good word back to the overseer there maybe we'll get him to move here 